Hello, my name is Neil. Welcome to Retro for You. And today I'm going to be doing a channel first. We're going to be using future tech, well, modern technology, it feels like the future to me, to experience some retro. So without further ado, let's jump into virtual reality and show you an experience that I discovered last week, which I just need to share with you guys. So let's crack on. <laughs> So, welcome here to my 90s bedroom, complete with my Snickers. Now, I don't like Snickers, so let's just get rid of that. There it goes. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this room because it is absolutely an explosion of nostalgia for me. I mean, there's so many memories come flooding back when I go in here. I'm sure it's going to be the same for everybody else that is looking at this from my age group or obviously above and below there's something for all years here this is mainly from the 90s I think but there's obviously some 80s stuff in there as well let's just have a quick look around and see what we can see now the level of detail in VR is amazing we've got Game Gear Game Boy Advance some magazines down here there's good old is it Ren or Stimpy? I think it's Stimpy in it we could even use a torch look spot for things oh look there's a cat nice cat actually just touched my keyboard then hopefully it didn't stop it from recording so we'll just throw that on there whoa plop that's actually good in it actually that, that sprite collision and stuff so let's go into this corner here we've got a couple of arcade machines neo geo a sega astro city now i think within reason we could start turning these things on there you go so that we can and on this we've got metal slug and yes you can actually play these I don't think you can actually grab the handles unfortunately but I know you can play them oh there's an actual cartridge slot there for changing the game you see down here so to do this that's the wrong button I pressed. How do I play him? Oh, there you go. I'm putting credit then. I'm stood in the wrong place, but let's have a go at playing from here. Well, you can see it is absolutely excellent, this thing is. The things you can do in there is it's just crazy. So, let's just leave that. I can pull the game cartridge out to shut it up. Right, also, I've noticed here, we've got a light switch. And we can turn the lights on and off. That in itself is pretty cool. And we've got, let's turn it back on so we can see a bit better. You notice here, we've got proper Star Wars, whoops, Star Wars blister packs here. And these things nowadays will be worth a fortune because you've got the original ones here. Original Kenner ones, obviously, all the... C3PO, R2D2, and Chewbacca, Han Solo, etc. Some more down here. Obviously, Darth Vader, Yoda, and a Stormtrooper. I mean, it's just loads of stuff. Now, this is especially special to me. Because I actually remember getting one of these one Christmas ones as a kid. And it was an amazing, like, transformer. It was absolutely humongous. I could not believe the size of it. I think it was called Jet Save. It was about this big, it was as big as that basically. It was just a crazy, crazy thing and I can look around here for ages. I mean the level of detail in the things are really good in the 3D models. You can see the Lego here. Unfortunately you can't play with it. But like I say there's, there's a group of movie cars down here. We've got Herbie, we've got Smokey and the Bandit. I'm on the A-Team, 
I'm not sure about the other two, that's a transformer thing. We've got a couple of boxes of uh, consoles down there, etc. Up there we've got a huge selection, well not a huge, but a selection of sandwich boxes that we all loved. We used to get from Asda. With a matching container inside, there's like Ed 209. You could probably spot a lot more than what I'm actually shouting out here, but there is a lot of stuff in here. Obviously, you've got Man at Arms there. I think that was Hammerhead or something, I can't remember his name, but Skeletor, He-Man, and of course, Battle Cat. Uh, here, we've got a big TV. I want to turn the volume down, because if I remember rightfully, this thing is loud. And with this here, we can actually go to the video recorder. We can actually eject video tapes and put them back in. And we can actually play the video and watch the video. Now, obviously this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a cartoon. Which you'll remember getting up to on a Saturday morning to watch. Of course we do. So I'm just going to take that out and I will show you. If you press this button here. You then get a selection of systems, etc. So with this, this is every retro repairer's dream. I can just go like this. I can press this button here, look, and I can grab as many consoles as I want. And I've got a stack of Ataris down here, 2600s. Now, for some reason, I've got a baby one here. Sometimes I get a full-size one. Sometimes I get a baby one. Now, I don't know what they are, but these are six switches. But also... They're heavies as well, and they're not the light versions, so these are the ones that are worth money, and these are pristine condition. So imagine having all these consoles like that, just on touch of a hand. Now, also, we've got here, like I said about the VHSs, there's different films here. We've got Turtles, we've got Batman, we've got Robocop. We've got loads of stuff, Transformers movie, and again, we just select it, press that, and there's the videotape there, which we can put in, but... Like I said before, I've got not enough room to get down on my knees and sort that out. Because I'd have to crawl around on the floor, and I'm not crawling around on the floor underneath my desk. Now we'll just try a few more things, like this Game Boy. Which does actually turn on, and does have Tetris installed. So we could play that if we wanted. What else is there? There's a couple of consoles. There's a Mega CD. There's a and the Nintendo there, isn't there? So you can actually go to the console as well and press the power button. And that will actually load in again. And we should be able to play this game now. Which we can. I'm, I'm actually sat here now on my chair playing Mario as if it's on a, a TV. I don't know what I've done. Oh, there you go. I keep pausing it or something. So now I'm controlling it with my uh, controllers and I've just run straight into a mushroom. That's a really good start. So let's just have one last quick go. So this is an amazing room. Just to look at it, you can see Millennium Falcon, T Rex. It's just actually be able to play a game like this is just great and the guy who made this room he spent a lot of time creating this room and he's put it on to download for free and the link will be down below so I suggest anybody who's got VR or even without VR because you can run this on a desktop mode and just go around with your mouse etc and have a look around and a play you can actually play in this room as well so it's quite cool but I can guarantee, I myself personally, I'm going to be messing around in here quite a bit. Now, sorry I've made a mess down there, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But other than that, I just want to show you guys this room. We'll just have one final look around before I join you on the outro. So, for me, this room is a big thumbs up. An MUVR program is amazing. So... Big shout out to whoever did this room, and thanks for doing it, and I shall see you in the outro soon. See you soon, guys, with my virtual thumbs up. Now, that was utterly amazing. I cannot believe how far 
be ours. Come now. I mean, it's not up to holodeck standards yet, but one day it may be, but maybe not in my lifetime. So I'm going to enjoy it as much as I can now. I was an early adopter with the DK1, the DK2 and the CV1. And then obviously I went to the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. I've really enjoyed like the mixed reality of the Quest 3, etc. But that was just next level retro stuff for me. It's just more of a nostalgia trip. It was like, boom, everything's there that I liked. So in news wise, in regards to repairs, I'm still working on the A500 Plus Plus board, but unfortunately I didn't have time to do a video this week or finish getting it working. But I am continually working on it. I've removed a load of components on that 5 volt rail. Still haven't managed to find a short, unfortunately, but I'm going to get there eventually. And I've also acquired some more 8-bit computers from the 80s and 90s, so look forward to them in future videos. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here for the first time, then please hit the subscribe button. There's plenty of retro stuff, etc. on the way. And other than that, I shall see you next week on Retro For You. See you soon, guys. Bye.